A Long Island homeowner says he made a mistake when he accepted what he was told was clean, free dirt to landscape his property. In a story you'll only see on CBS2, Jennifer McLogan reports the truckload of soil was toxic. Feet from the Great South Bay, homeowners doing spring landscaping in Shirley, Long Island say they got a shock. This pristine piece of land, they dumped 30 plus yards of trash on it, some potentially toxic. Neighborhood cameras recorded a contractor pulling up in a dump truck, offering some free dirt so he didn't have to haul it away, he claimed. Hey, good job, sure. Very good stuff here. Yeah. They lied, you know, they said it was clean dirt, it was clean film. Homeowner Chris McGuire calls himself trusting, but when he glanced up to see rocks, asphalt, and plastic pieces mixed within the soil. As soon as he started dumping, I saw some stuff fall out, I said stop. And then they took off in a big hurry. And they floor it, all the dirt comes out, the back of the truck is up, takes out the neighbor's power line. Neighbor John Glass was suddenly without power. The contractor's truck ripped out wires fleeing the scene. Glass paid $5,000 for repairs last week, he said. In terms of what it did to our little community, I mean, you know, we were all like kind of in shock. Now the town of Brookhaven is investigating. State lawmakers recently passed bills designating as felonies illegally dumping construction debris or participating in a dumping scheme. A residential toxic dumping story in Central Islip that we first exposed helped contribute to the new law in 2020. Prior to that, dumping was a misdemeanor. Brookhaven Town is warning residents of unscrupulous people. Contaminated soil may end up being a costly environmental cleanup. I know that the, the, the dirt's most probably tainted. Yeah. It's indefensible. Threatening not only humans, but wildlife, our fragile ecosystem, and aquifer. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.